Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today I have a very nice tweak for you called iTheme Sky. Some of you may be familiar with the website version of this. However, I'm not sure if many of you knew, but they do have an application of this website for you to use in order to download these custom lock screens and themes that generally can be found at iTheme Sky. Once you have the application open, what you're going to want to do is select themes. And from here, you'll be greeted with a screen that has different categories that you can use to better filter out what you're looking for. And what I just selected was all themes. So this just shows you a general view of everything. However, if you venture up here, you have filters where you can filter it by updates, uh, the number of downloads of a particular lock screen, or the ratings. Clicking on categories will take you into a screen where you can sort the themes by topics, subjects such as holiday, cartoons, beauty, animated, abstract. So you have quite a few options there. So I'm going to just venture back. You can also filter by your iDevice so you can make sure you get the right lock screen or theme that's combat compatible with your device and you can also filter through lock screens wallpapers media player or app icons themes <laughs> so you have quite a few options now i'm going to demonstrate what you need to do when you find a particular lock screen or theme that you like and i'm going to use ls striped clock hd for this and um, when you click on it you'll be greeted with a screenshot so you get a preview of how it will look and if you decide that that's something that you want, you can also see the details of it, what it's compatible with, the compatible iOS versions, and what is required to run this lock screen. You also will get a nice description of the lock screen as well. If you continue to venture down, you will also see that you have tutorials on how to download and install the theme and how to get your location code and a few other things you may have questions about. But when you decide that's the one you want, you're going to select download and then select the down arrow that I just pressed. And it will take you to a queue of all the themes that you have installed, as well as those that are currently being installed. So I have the one that I just installed here and you're going to, after it's downloaded, you're then going to install it yourself. And you're going to have to go to Winterboard in order to activate it. So I'm going to just open up Winterboard now. And once Winterboard is open, you're going to select themes and you're going to find the one that you just downloaded. So I'm just going to disable the one that I currently have and I'm going to then find LS Striped HD Clock and I'm going to enable that one. After you've done that, you're then going to respring your device. And once it has resprung, the changes will then take effect and you will see your new lock screen. And there we go. There goes LS Striped HD Clock. And as you can see, it is a gorgeous lock screen. So you might want to download this one as well. And you have the animated clock along with the date and the custom slider at the bottom right here. So in order to get iTheme Sky on your device, what you're going to need to do is install a repo inside of Cydia. And I notice uh, the themes and lock screens that are found in iTheme Sky can sometimes also be found in Cydia, but not all of them can. Some are just specifically in iTheme Sky. So what we're going to do now is add the needed repo. So we're going to want to go to Sources, Edit, and then Add. And you're going to type in apt.itheme.sky.com. And once you've done that, you're then going to select add source and let it just install what is needed. And then when you go to the sources and you select app iTheme Sky, you will see the application iTheme Sky inside of there. And you just simply install it as you would any other tweak. More information about this particular application can be found down below in the description box, but that does sum everything up. I hope this video was helpful to you all, and if it was, please make sure you thumbs up this video, as well as subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated. To find out when videos are going to be posted or to ask questions and possibly get a quicker response, you can follow me on Twitter at TechMeOut. That's T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. Make sure you do follow me because I do follow back. Drop down down below what you think of this tweak in the comments section and as always thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out